All right, in this video, we're going to configure local storage. So we're going to configure basic disk and dynamic disk. In this first task, we're going to be working on the uh, PLAB domain member. Let's go to Tools, then Computer Management. disk management all right so we just initialized both disk 1 and disk 2 you can see here by the online symbols underneath if the disk wasn't online you could just right mouse click and you would select initialize So in order to convert disk 1, which is a basic disk, to a dynamic disk, you would right click and you would select convert to dynamic disk. Disk 1 is selected, click OK. Note that disk 1 is now a dynamic disk and if you take a look at disk 2 it is still listed as a basic disk now that we have the dynamic disk set up we're gonna create a new basic volume so we can do this by placing the mouse in this area right mouse clicking and select new simple volume We're going to make this one 5 gigabytes. The drive letter is fine. We're going to format this partition with NTFS. We're going to leave all the defaults. Click finish. we now have our new 5 gigabyte dynamic disk partition so the next thing we're gonna do is convert our dynamic disk back to a basic disk if we right click on on disk 1 notice that convert to basic disk is grayed out this is because we're gonna need to format we're going to need to delete the dynamic volume before we could change it into a basic disk. So now we're going to go to the dynamic disk volume, right mouse click on it, and select delete volume. I'm going to click OK. And now it automatically goes back to being a basic disk. So now I'm going to convert disk 1 back to a dynamic disk by right mouse clicking and select convert to dynamic disk, selecting disk 1 and it is now converted to a dynamic disk. The next thing we're going to do is co to configure the MBR and the GPT. On disk management we want to make sure that disk 1 is initialized and it indeed is initialized so we're gonna right mouse click disk 1 and select convert to GPT disk the disk is now converted to a GPT disk and if we wanna go back to the master boot record model right click on disk 1 and go back to convert to MBR in this section we're gonna create and mount virtual hard drives VHDs so we're still working on the um, 
plab dm01 domain member and we're gonna right click on on disk management and select create VHD we're gonna enter the location for our VHD which is gonna be C colon backslash plab we're gonna give it a size of two gigabytes and keep the defaults and click OK notice if we scroll down we have our new VHD two gigabyte size let's initialize this disk since it is not initialized so we right mouse click in the disk 4 area and select initialize disk we're gonna keep the defaults and our new VHD is now online if I right mouse click on the new VHD I could actually detach it click OK and it is now detached notice that disk 4 is gone now if I want to reattach the VHD I'm gonna have to go back to the left panel into disk management right mouse click on disk management and this time select attach VHD and this time instead of typing it out I'm actually gonna to navigate to its location so it was in my C drive and it was named plab and this is it remember it was two gigs I'm gonna select it click open click OK and our VHD is back online